What's up guys, Jeremy, Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're here with another Lightroom edit. Um, we're gonna edit this image from beginning to end and I'm gonna reset this image so you guys can actually see what I got out of it. And um, if you're new here, please give me a subscribe if you haven't checked out the page yet or my channel. And then if this helps you in any way, if you guys would just give me a thumbs up on that on this video, that would help me a ton. Um, these videos have been requested, so I'm super excited to do them and uh, show you guys how I edit using Lightroom. Before we get going, please read the description, learn a little bit about me, about what I do, and my nonprofit, um, Hatch Lab, and how you can help Hatch Lab bring uh, photography education to the youngins, to the kids. We do it for the babies. So guys, um, we're gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes. I'm at a minute now, so we're gonna play a little bit. What I'm using today is I'm using my palette gear. You'll find all this in the description, palette gear, palettegear.com. Um, all these little buttons will change according to what I use normally, and I can function Lightroom completely with just these button sets. Uh, regular keyboard and then a Wacom medium. Um, I'm on a Mac, and I'm playing with, uh, with Lightroom only, Lightroom 6, the uh, latest version, or CC if you're into that. Uh, we're going to show you guys the settings first. This was shot um, at a wedding last Saturday um, at a home ranch style house. So we just had random ranch buildings. And uh, this was kind of a shot that I had in my mind, didn't really do, um, or haven't really done in the past, done successfully. So in order for me to get this done, I shot this with a 14 millimeter Sigma Art. It's the new Sigma that came out. Amazing, amazing lens. Um, Really, really cool lens. This is the raw file from it at 1 4,000th of a second f2.0 ISO 100. Um, I wanted an actual blur, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but the focus is actually the building and not the shadows. So I actually am laying down right on the ground. Um, it doesn't bother me as much, but if you guys look right here, this is actually me. <laughs> That's me right there. And how when I was shooting, I actually grabbed a bunch of shots, and I thought it was going to bother me more. It actually doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to leave that there without pulling it out. If somebody does see it, and they're like, hey, what's that? They can think it's a rock. It's not me. If my elbows were out here or something, I would totally Photoshop it out. Um, we have our groomsmen and our bridesmaids. We are cutting off one groomsman off to the side, but whatever. Um, I do have another image of this where my bride and groom is actually standing here. And then we just get the shadows of our bridal party, which is kind of cool. So I'm laying in between my bride and groom, down on the ground, shooting up a little bit. My focal point is right here in the middle, and that's how we do it. This is actually going to be a really, really quick edit, which I'm spending a lot of time talking about. Um, that way I can edit. I want this in color, but let's see what it looks like in our black and white first, and I might like that better. So I'm going to hit this little preset that I have, and we'll decide, no, nope, I'm going to do a color. I like color. So guys, we're going to use what we call, I call J-Style. And all that is, is a common preset that I use all the time. And this preset is, um, if you guys look right over here as I play, we're going to bump our contrast up. We're going to bump our clarity, our vibrance up. We're also going to bump our reds and our yellows. Um, we're also going to bump our sharpness up a little bit. And that is my go-to edit. This is what I do in every single uh, photo that I take. Um, as far as my start edit, so I created a preset out of it, which saves me a lot of time. You can theoretically preset everything and have it all done on upload or import so you don't have to do this ever again. I do it per photo because I like this little thing right here that shows me that I'm actually editing the photo uh, or that a photo has been edited. So we have our preset. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to tweak our image. The cool thing with this is I don't have to do any skin retouching. Um, I want this to feel a little more amazing than it is. So I'm going to bump the exposure up a little bit and I'm actually going to pump the clarity up. So if you guys look at my left hand here, I'm actually, this is, uh, this part of the, my palette system is actually for clarity. So as you see, I'm moving it, my clarity is moving up and down and I actually don't have to look at these buttons and I can kind of do that. This button here is bringing down my exposure here just a little bit. And then we're going to play with our vignette just a touch here to kind of bring our focus to the center. I always like the center of the image being focused um, as much as I can. So now that we've gotten that, we're going to play with our shadows and highlights. I don't know what's going to do too much here. I know, yeah, I know my highlights to be a little higher. The cool thing is I can see these cool clouds doing stuff too. And I want my shadows to come down just a little. I want a little, I, want, I don't want it too fake, right? I want just a little bit of a punch right there just something really cool and easy 
Cool. Now we're going to look at the entire image and see if there's anything else we can do with this just to kind of pull it off. So I'm going to take my Wacom here and I want to play with these clouds just a touch. So I'm just going to go into my, my brush here and I'm going to select... I'm going to select my uh, my burn tool. I want to make this a little bit darker up top. And with the burn tool, we're just going to kind of burn this just a touch here. Just all of the sky. We're just taking our pen. We're drawing. That's all we're doing. And I'm just going to burn. Even though you can't really tell, I'm just going to burn all these little dark spots right here. This right here is uh, the groom's leg. You can imagine that. And this right here is part of the bride's dress, but I'm just gonna darken this just a little bit. And then with that, we're actually gonna bump this clarity up a little bit here. Boom, and you kinda see how the sky changed just a little bit there. I love it. I can up the exposure just a little bit. It makes it a little more moodier, a little moodier. Now in order to take the focus away down here, what I'm gonna do is hit new, and then we're gonna select our burn tool again, and I'm just gonna lightly kind of draw down into here, just right into here. This is creating another version of a vignette, so if you don't use your vignette, you can always just paint your own vignette in. And we're just gonna kind of do this. Now, obviously burning is playing with our exposure, so you can kind of see if I go down all the way what it does, so we're gonna bring this up. So this will take less focus on the bottom, a little bit more focus on me. The last thing that I want to do that we didn't do is I'm going to play with these uh, my, my palettes again. I have this one set to, let me pull this away so you guys can actually see this. I have um, my temp set to the top one here. It's a blue one. All these are cool because I can change colors on all of them if I need to so you can match the colors. So what I want to do is actually just, I do like that this, the sun is directly, obviously that's the sun directly on there. And then we're going to change our tint here a little bit. We're going to see what this looks like. Maybe just add a little bit. Perfect, bring this down. A little too much red in there. Awesome. Bring that exposure down just a touch. Cool. And that, guys, I'm super happy with this. Um, every wedding that I do, I go for one or two portfolio or website or epic images. I never know what's going to happen. This one was just amazing. Um, this one was a really cool farm and barn. And as these people were walking out, I was like, you know what? I'm looking at this. I'm actually seeing my shadow go up to this. So you can only do this maybe like an hour, hour and a half before actual sunset. So we were able to do that and get this amazing shot. Um, I do have another amazing epic image. Of course, the bride and groom standing right about here in place of their shadows. I like it. I like this a little bit better because this little tells a little bit more of a story. The other one I'm also shooting with the um, 14 mil and what happens is with the bride and groom they get elongated so they look a little taller than they should and I just don't want to Photoshop that now. That'll be something in their gallery and maybe you guys will see that one day. If you want me to edit that, let me know and I'm happy to show you guys. But this is just a fun, cool, creative way. Um, also, I forgot to tell you, I had the girls put all their flowers up so we could tell that they were girls, even though you could probably tell, but this way it gives a little and the guys are just kind of hanging. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you, it's helped in any way possible, made you think a little bit, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later.